Okay, I'm going to go over page 12 so that you have the right answers. So a lot of these are the same things that you did on page 11, so it's like extra practice. All right, so copper is a metal. Chloride is a non-metal. So this is going to be ionic. Roman numeral 2 tells you that there's going to be two valence. It also tells you that the copper has a plus 2 charge, and chlorine we know has a minus 1 charge. So it's going to be CuCl2. So copper has two valence electrons, chlorine has seven. So I'm going to give, because it's ionic, one to that one. I'm going to need another chlorine and give that one to there. So I end up with Cu with a plus two, chlorine with a minus one, and we have two of them. H2S, hydrogen is a nonmetal, sulfur is a nonmetal. So this one's going to be covalent. Sulfur has six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hydrogen has one, so one there and one there. These are arrows because it's ionic, metal and nonmetal. These are circles because it's two nonmetals. And then to name it, It'd be dihydrogen sulfide. Okay. All right, next one NBr3, nonmetal, nonmetal, covalent. Nitrogen has one, two, three, four, five. We know we need three bromines. Bromine has seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Share. Bromine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, share. Bromine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, share. And then you do end up with um, one of these unshared pairs on the central atom. Same thing up here, I forgot. You do end up with two unshared pairs. Um, just for future reference, we'll use that idea later. Um, and then to name it, we have nitrogen try bromide okay. all right next one carbon non-metal bromine non-metal tetra four so all kinds of indications that this is covalent so carbon has one two three four bromine has seven one two three four five six seven and if i share that gives me eight so i'm just going to essentially put one of these bromines at each spot. It's going to share at each one of these spots. Okay, so I end up with C, B, R, 4, because tetra means 4. Diatomic bromine, so diatomic bromine means B, R, 2. So bromine has 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The other bromine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and they share. So we have a single covalent. Diatomic nitrogen and two. Nitrogen has five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Sorry. So we're going to share, share, and share. So in other words, triple bond like that. And then last one, carbon dioxide, we know the formula is CO2. So kind of an interesting one. We have carbon that has one, two, three, four. We need two oxygens, one, two, three, four, five, six. Another oxygen, one, two, three, four, five, six. So if we share and share and share and share, we end up with carbon with a double bond to another oxygen and to the other oxygen. So this one was kind of a little bit of trick. It was putting together the covalent part that we had done the day before with the uh, idea that you can have multiple bonds. Okay.